How's it going, everyone? I'm the Sonic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Pink Fox is tooting the horn. Also, that bedang. Now my computer's trying to join it. Shut up, computer. Alright. So, this is technically take three, two, take two uh, of this. The first take it was successful, but the problem was that my computer was being a butt. So, the file got removed. Now, we're doing the same thing I was doing for about 45 minutes again, I think. I don't know. I didn't count. I don't want to math right now. The good news, though, is that I know what to do. So, before, I had no idea. Hey, it's the Three Stooges. Which one's which? They all look the same to me. Hi. It's good of you to join us here in the clouds. We have awaited your coming. Huh? You were waiting? For us? Hmm. I still have my doubts. Can this boy really be one of these seek? But you have seen the girl who accompanies him, have you not? She's the very image of the queen in her youth. If our queen has led him here, then he must surely possess the power we require. I would like nothing more than to believe you. How can our queen see clearly when she is en enveloped in fathomless darkness? Oi, tin face! I don't care how fancy your flippin' armor is. Didn't your man ever teach you it's rude to whisper in front of people? Well. Guess it's whisper time. We're gonna pretend I'm talking normally when I'm just whispering into my mic. Does that sound okay to you guys? And don't worry, I am whispering. I'm just going to adjust this so I can actually have some elbow room. Thank you. All right, let's go. We once formed the Queen's Honored Guard. It was our duty to protect this place. I totally don't sound like the Dark Knight at all. I'm Batman. Lest you wonder, we are illusions given life by the power of the Queen's imagination. Much like the Zodiacs, you have no doubt encountered. What? Quick, come boy. Okay, all right, I guess we're Yes, we're not being quiet. All right then. That's uh totally done. Cool. Cool. Um, I'm confused now. What am I not? What? Quick, Harley boy, get your wand ready. We've got a fight on our hands. But I, and I don't, I. This fairy is a feisty one, is he not? You're not. We are not your enemies. The zodiacs who sat on the queen's council were malign. What? We sprang from the part, that part of the queen's heart that is still wise and just. Though her radiance has lost sight of this side of herself, it lives on. Indeed. It was this very part of her heart that led you here to us. Now we wish you to grant the rest of those who once defended our cursed kingdom. Cursed kingdom? I guess you need Nazca, huh? Precisely! Now, would you be good enough to hear our request? Sure. Um, sure, I guess. What is it that you'd like us to do? Long ago, before our queen was born, war raged across this land. No part of our world was spared the horror and turmoil of the Wizard Wars. As each side vied for advance, Advantage, whatever. New weapons were devised which fused steel, stone, and sorcery. Weapons known as Magimax. Or Magimax? I don't know. Force Magimax stationed around the palace are mere replicas. The originals were vastly more powerful. When the war ended, these weapons were deprived of their purpose. One by one, they became dormant. 
state akin to eternal sleep. So we believe. It now seems that some have reawoken. In all, four Magamex have emerged from their slumber. Perhaps the reappearance of the ivory tower disturbed them. We are not certain. Pink Fox is trying to show me something on the side left. Yeah, I don't. I, he's asking a question I can't really figure out the answer to because I don't have the information in front of me. So, uh. Just look at my phone. Gah! I said, look at my phone, unplug my phone, and the computer just starts making noise. You probably already read that. Not, I probably didn't. I just don't remember. Blech. Hold on to the phone. Hopefully that has all the answers. Technology has all the answers. That's why I'm going to go beat it up so I have no answers so I can figure it out for myself. We have faith that our queen's heart will be... That's not what that said. I know. Whatever. We have faith that our queen's heart will be restored to its former purity. And when this happens... We would spare her the sight of such tragic vestiges of Nazca's past. This is why we ask that you help the Magamex return to their slumber. Listen, Helmet Face, are you sure you're telling us the full story? Because I'm not sure I trust you as far as I could spit you. All this business about the Queen's heart being pure. Well, it sounds nice enough, but I ain't seen much evidence of it so far. Something that smells fishy to me. Okay. Mr. Drippy, don't you remember those visions from Queen Cassiopeia's past? Y you saw them too, right? I just... I, I think they're telling the truth. We appreciate your good faith in that. So what are they? Magic mix, magic mix I mean. He's returned after the Wizard Wars. The Magimax were confined to a number of secure locations around the world. Over the centuries, many changes have been wrought on the landscape, and we can no longer be certain of their whereabouts. Perhaps on your travels, you have laid eyes on these ancient weapons, sleeping peacefully. Yes, I have. I'm afraid we can offer you little guidance. You must rely on your own memory. That's brilliant, is it? Make it easy for us. Why don't you the dodgy blue tin face? Calm down, Mr. Drippy. I'm sure if we think real hard, we can... We have one piece of information which may prove useful to you. Oh, gosh. You interrupted me. I am trying to find these tech things so I can destroy them and learn things on my own. Then you interrupt me. Why am I destroying these again? You tell me. Tell me? Yeah, that's right. I learn things. By myself. Me. Only me. Anyway. Magimex have strong connections to memory stones. So basically, they're right next to a memory stone. Where a memory stone on some areas is. Fine. We'll find your dang Magimex and destroy them. What we're planning on doing in the first place. What up, Tangri? How do I'm starting to sound like Drippy. Drippy, I blame you. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Okay, well. That's a way to go about it. Alright, so first stop is... The Glittering Grotto. The only reason I'm stopping here first is because this is the one that's hidden in the deepest. Hello? I see Palace of Doom. Are you in here? Is that... Ice Queen trying to come after me. I 
actually much stronger than you. I don't even know why you would try that. This way. Love you more. Let's see. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Really getting anywhere with this? This takes forever. Yeah, you missed. I don't want to fight you. If I'm gonna fight creatures. I'm gonna do it off screen. I'm not in the mood for fighting. And uh, right here. That says. We found it, and maybe we'll reach it. It's a big fat maybe, what? How did I miss this? Alright. Hey, Robo! Look, look, it's a magic mech. Get your bunch ready, other boy. Okay. Fancy your chances, do you? I could do like an auto battle thing, just skip to the end to see if I win. That'd be great. That would save us all a lot of time. But this guy gives it a matter of this guy gets beat to the pulp like very quickly. Okay? Oh my! And dead. And dead. I feel wiser already. I also feel very harsh for some reason. Teddy, nice one, Oliver. If any more magic fancy is scrap, you'll give him what for. Sure. Let's get at it. And let's travel over to Golden Grove. Which side is it going to have me appear on, though? I forget. Um, this is actually the side I want. Cool. Let's go for it. Actually, you can see it on the map over here right now. On the other side of that thing. Actually, it's technically up there. I think. I hope. I hope I don't feel misleading, otherwise I'm going to feel bad. But regardless, let's move over here. Go up the shrooms. Because... You know, shrooms be big and me want to run on big shrooms. Apparently. Yeah, I need to kill another one of these things, otherwise I'm going to feel stupider than I is now. I s I s I kill the machine, not the mushroom. I know they sound similar, but it's not the same thing. But hey. Take too long to get past these things. No, oh, don't pat yourself on the back! Look, one, it's a magic mech. Get your wand ready, early boy. Blah! Come on! Alright. Time to kick the magic mech's butt. Bam. Bam. Bam, boy. Feel smarter already. Ah! Bro, you really thought you could stop me? 
just got destroyed. You got your anus handed to you. Good work, Harley boy. Two more to go. Keep it up. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's waste magic just to move to places faster. Alright, so that's Golden Grove and Glittering Grove. Next up. Um, Old Smokey. For this one, it's just like right next to the entrance, so it's not that big a deal. Kind of another reason why I wanted to do this one, just because it's the fastest. Why well, I'm saying I did it third and not first. I, I don't know. Anyway, hello. We can do this. Freaking stream, Tyler. I mean, look, this is what happens when you try to get in the way of me getting the knowledge I need by beating up Robots. You too. I'll kick this Robots butt. And that's what I thought I heard my friends call it. I thought they called it Robots. Hey! Okay, imagine my freaking die! Die! Good job, Swain. Nice work. I said good job, Swain! Well, that was fun. That's three of those rust buckets you've stuck in those scrappy. Just one more to get. Well, I'm not gonna waste any magic on just getting out of here since it's like right here. How is this gonna benefit me? Here we go. One, two. What the L is a draggle? All right, then. All right, what kind of knowledge have I learned? <laughs> yeah, nothing. I haven't learned nothing yet. I will, though. You just watch. I'm killing robots for knowledge. Pretty simple trade, don't you think? Alright, next up. Um, dang it, where is it? Tombstone Trail. Fact. Last. Well, of the four. I'm pretty sure we're going to be back for Tombstone Trail one more time as well. Which... I can see a nuisance beyond that, that kind of mindset. I, I can see a big nuisance beyond that. And where, oh where, oh where is this? This way. It's running. It is running from me. No one needs to run from me. I'm just trying to beat things up by and learn knowledge out of it. Is it working? Not so far, but I guarantee it will work. This will work. Where in the heaven high am I going? There we go. Ow. There we go. Bye. 
you have fun there. And here's our buddy Robocop. <laughs> Actually, no, but that'd be a great movie to watch. Ah, to you too. Here we go. Okay, well, this is, uh, ah-ha, uh ah -huh. uh -huh. We did it! Huh. Looks like you got him all, Ollie boy. Now let's get back to the ivory tower, shall we? Okay. I can't stick it, can't trap. All right, let's get over to the iron wyvern. Uh, but first, no, oh, yeah, the iron wyvern. I was thinking Ivory Tower when I said Iron Wire. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was a weird noise. Is this dragon sick or something? Let's go. Okay. Badass. I uh, kicked the four beings butt. Do I get a reward for this? Yo. This is splendid. The magic max have returned to their eternal slumber. It seems that we underestimated your power. I sense that you may even be capable of facing the kingdom's other great defenders in battle. What? Don't tell me there's more blooming robots you need that need battling. I'm afraid there are. For the remnants of the Sagely Stone Age, they guarded the main cities of Nazca throughout the Wizard Wars. While the Ivory Tower has floated free of the, the world below, these guardians have remained in Nazca, watching over the kingdom. We speak of the Magimic Masters. They were charged with guarding the kingdom's three great cities. Nazca, Kal, and Itzos. What the who now? Wow, I guess there's still a lot of places I've never heard of. Nazca was the capital city. Its culture and language dominated the kingdom. You were the Knights of Nazca and defended the capital alongside the Magic McMasters. But now that the power sealing them has waned, these once stout defenders pose a great threat to the people of this world. Yourselves not least of all. We would ask that you grant them rest. As you did their lesser brethren. Okay, we'll do what we can. Thank you. Your courage and spirit men are admirable. You will find the Magic McMasters where the three cities once stood. You know that almost nothing now remains of those once bustling metropolises. Nothing save faded glyphs upon the ground, which basically you'll find them. I'm sure. Why can't I do that here? Not like I can go outside and do it. I, mean, I could try. Uh, uh, Oliver? Oliver? Please, Oliver. Okay. What? That is bad. That, that, no. I did not appreciate that. Ugh. I'm yawning a lot today. 
Alright, let's go to Aramabwana, eh? And kick these things' butts. The bosses might end up waiting till. Well, these are the bosses. What am I talking about? Watch out for me, boy. There's a great big magic bag monster in the way there. I'm assuming you're going to say that all three times, so I'm just going to go into this and kick this guy's butt. Oh. Boom. Yeah, boom. You're almost dead, dude. I literally almost do. The whole time I'm just doing this. I'm not even... Not even trying. See, this is what I mean. See, I gained knowledge. I swear on it. There's your proof. Me no knowledge of. Because me kill robo thing. I'm con Pink Fox is convinced that I'm on drugs just because of the fact that me talk stupid such. Pink Fox, you be careful. I'm not inclined to answer that. Not really. Yep. Another Magic Mac Master. Yay. Maybe I can get more knowledge off of this guy. Knowledge. Ow! No pain, no gain? Uh... Wow. This is... Alright, well, this is taking longer than the last guy, I will say that. Alright, but we still beat him. He's nothing. Alright, that's two. One more to go. I don't know, this way we might actually have a chance to do something. Two down, one to go. Keep it up, early, boy. What did I literally just say, Jeremy? Well, apparently I said that I'm high without realizing. Big Fox is starting to twist my brain hole or whatever is left up there. I tried to insert it with a bunch of knowledge, but it wasn't working yet for me. I get it. This is a mag. Frickin'. It's a Magimac! Come on, you guys! I don't understand what a Magimac is, but aside from a robot. That's it. We're done. We're done here. Yay! We're good job. Everyone. We learned something today. We did it. We did it. We thrashed the lot of them. Good job too. We we'll started to get better from whacking the rock hard heights right then. Back to the evidence. You did nothing, Trippy. I don't know how many times I have to say you did nothing.
let's leave the iron blah, 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 wyvern and go to the ivory tower. So, in the original episode, what I'm about to confront was the last thing I confronted, so uh, regardless of time, this is the most we're doing this episode. Yeah, not very much. I know, I'm sorry, but... I don't want to confuse my own brain hole that's already confuzzled like all hell. I Splendid work! I confess that we harbored certain doubts as to whether you could truly defeat such formidable opponents. I assure you the hearts of their masters are much lighter for your efforts. Masters? You mean the magic masters had masters of their own? Indeed. The magic mix were in truth formed. From the fighting spirit that dwelled within the hearts of some. Oh, that makes sense why I was able to learn things from them. I think. I got knowledge from robots, that's all I know. Each one had a human master. Oh. Oh, okay. And three of those masters now stand before you. Well, but what do you mean? Oh, heck. I think I see where this is going. Yes, we Knights of Nazca too command soldiers of the soul. Come, prove your worth against the mightiest Magimax of all. Show us your true power. All right, Grippy, you were right. I didn't want to say that. I really don't like saying that, but you know what? Blah. Okay, well, gotta be really careful here. Yes. Oliver, stay alive, Oliver. Oh, God. I should probably keep a note that this is extremely randomized. Go, Oliver, go. Dang it. What's with all the twinkle twinkles? Oh my gosh! Really bad timing, Drippy. Oh boy. Well, whether I win or not, this is probably going to be my only attempt this episode. If we fail, obviously I need to grind. For levels. There's not much more I can do. Wow, he's using Cutlass a lot. I mean, it's not really helping. Whoa! Okay. Let's just, you know. I use Pulse on these things. Let's try to use Astra, see what that does. Oh, will Astra do that. Uh, whoa. Robots die. Yeah, we're, 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 we're going to beat this whether the game likes it or not. Okay, one down. This is going to make it a bit... Uh-oh. Ow! Hey, now. You might be an all-star, but that doesn't mean you can beat me up. Yeah, you ain't getting your twinkle twinkle butthole. Dead. Dead. Dead? Dang it. 
gotta be close. Uh oh. Ow. All right, y'all are dying. You guys are dying. You're dying. You got it. You're dying. Right here, right now. Die. Yeah, Astro was. Astro was very helpful here. You know what, Swain? You gave it your best shot. I didn't expect you to survive. I didn't expect me to survive. In fact, I was very close to thinking I wouldn't. I got a real, a riddle rivet. What the hell is that? Extraordinary! To have beaten even our mighty familiars. So let me get this straight. All of them were full bruises. You had us going round bashing with flipping familiars all along? Indeed they were. I feel we owe you an apology. How come? Apart from attacking us, I mean. Those Magimex, those weapons of stone and steel that we asked you to defeat, they pose threat to neither man nor beast. Gee, thanks! You flippin' what? You mean them great big bags of bolts will hunt us all along? Uh, you, you, you flippin' did us! Wow. Great job, Drippy. Great burn. I guess those things taught you nothing. Nah, uh, let's be honest, they probably didn't teach me anything either. I was supposed to learn from- I was supposed to gain knowledge from those robots. I got nothing. We are truly sorry. We had- but had we told you the truth, you would almost certainly have refused. Of course we would have. Why would you make us hurt a bunch of innocent robots like that? By now you must have heard of the dread manna. Masters of the Magimex you faced were transformed by its terrible power. And thus, they were left to wander the world masterless and alone. Wait. Are you, are you telling me that the quote unquote beasties that I end up getting as familiars are all those human or something then? For years, they roamed without direction or purpose. Or, you know, just don't answer the question at all. Blimey, what did they do to pass time, I wonder? They act out an existence, waiting for the day when their masters would finally return. Some stayed in Nazca carving giant stone statues or drawing glyphs upon the ground. Others traveled the world, leaving behind pieces of themselves as they went. Pieces which in time came to be known as memory stones. Thus, they came to develop what might even be called a primitive culture. So, those pictures on the ground in this. That's all of her. So, those pictures on the ground in Nazca, and the waystones we've been using this whole time, the Magimix did all that? That is correct. They were responsible for creating almost all their remains now. Of the period we call the Safely Stone Age. They were leaving signs that their, ma their masters could use to find them when they finally returned. Little knowing that they would never see them again. But we, at last, have returned. By the grace of our queen. Yet, we are no more than illusions. Soon, vanish as swiftly and as suddenly as we appear. Which is why, before that day came, we wish to grant peace to those who have fought so bravely to keep the memory of Nazca alive, who remain so faithful still. That is all we wanted. That is the truth. I... I see. You have helped us achieve all that we wished. Now we will vanish once more. We have faith that one day our queen will be restored to her true self. We'll do everything we can to help Queen Cassiopeia. I promise. I pray that you will. To that end, we grant you one last gift. The power
power of the Knights of Nazca. Nazcan longsword, a suit of Nazcan armor, a Nazcan helm, jeez louise, 10,000 guilders, which I'm probably never going to use. Farewell. Bye. They gone. Maybe we should help out Queen Cassiopeia sooner rather than later. Hey, other boy. For that sake, like. You're right, Mr. Drippy. No, you're not. Let's do it for those three knights. For everybody in this world. Yeah. Now you're talking, Ollie boy. Let's get going. We're gonna do it, just not yet. Um, let's go ahead and. While I'm heading back to the Iron Wyvern, I'm gonna leave this video here. We'll pick up next episode and doing more side stuff. Yeah, I think we're done. No, not even close. We'll pick up more side stuff next time. For right now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath the White Wish Remastered. If you liked it, Make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a game by Bandai Namco or level 5 you'd like to see in here. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, Want to check out the one that I personally have checked, I, I looked at prior to this. Holy crap, I need to heal them. Uh, Click the link at the bottom right hand corner to try to take you to that destination. But if you miss any stops on this ride, the many, many, many stops, click the link across my right here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another. Oh my gosh. In another ride. Come on, Sora. Get to the waste dome so we can heal things and interact with these robots with knowledge. Oh. Bye. <laughs>